Hi guys, I am Tammy. I am a neonatal nurse practitioner and I am so excited that nurse.org has asked me to take over their Instagram account today. How exciting. So I don't, I want this to be a fun day. So I just don't want you guys following me around. I want you asking me questions. I am currently doing um, PRN as an neonatal nurse practitioner as well as locums um, and we we'll get into that where you can ask me questions about being a locums um, neonatal nurse practitioner or just a locums nurse practitioner in general. Um, I've been in neonatal nursing for 32 years, the last 21 of them as a neonatal nurse practitioner. I've kind of done everything possible in the world of NICU nursing. Um, so come along with me, ask me questions. It's going to be a fun day. Maybe we'll get an admission. I can tell you a little bit about it. So quick update on my post round activity. So I have a total of four patients that are well, actually three patients that are intubated. Um, one just got extubated to CPAP. So I have actually, actually a total of five um, TPNs to write. So there are various procedures that go on during the day in a level three NICU. Um, today is actually a slow day for um, procedures, but we are expecting a 30 week um, newborn. So we will see how that admission goes. Um, otherwise, I know you guys all have lots of questions um, regarding what is the activity as far as day to day in and out for a neonatal nurse practitioner. And nurse.org actually has a description, um, an article that I'll link here that tells a little bit more about the day in the life of a neonatal So my first question was, where did I go to nurse practitioner school? And that um, program that I intended was the State um, University of New York at Stony Brook. Um, I enjoyed my program there. Of course, it was over 21 years ago when I completed that program. And I think I was their third graduating class. But um, I loved it. I'll also link um, the top... Um, neonatal nurse practitioner programs here on this um, story posting. Um, and for me, um, it took me um, three years to complete the program. Now I was pregnant the first two years and I was working full time my first semester and then I went part time and then for my practicums that took me a year to complete. That's the clinical portion of um, my, the neonatal portion of the program. It took me Okay, guys, I forgot to link the schools um, that are currently the top programs for the neonatal nurse practitioner program, which are master prepared programs. Also, just to note, um, my university that I attended, which continues to be, um, it is mostly online. There are um, times in which you do have to go to the State University of New York at Stony Brook. Um, for orientation and then a couple other times that I had to go during um, the time I was completing my master's degree. They also have a transition to a doctorate um, in neonatal um, nurse practitionership. So um, just know that um, the majority of that program is online. Okay guys, I realized that my phone was dying so I had to run to my car to get my phone charger. But next question is, are your chances more of getting a position in an NICU if you have neonatal certifications? And I would say, yes, it's definitely going to help. Um, and I, the reasons why I say that is because it's going to show that you have an interest in being in a NICU and that you're interested in advancing your education to better your knowledge to care for those patients in the neonatal ICU. So for the neonatal world, our governing body for 
certifications are the NCC, which is the National Certification Corporation, and I will link that as well um, on this post um, for stories. Okay, next question. Um, my ultimate end goal is to become a neonatal MP, but I'm trying to get into the neonatal ICU. Any advice? Here's my advice. Um, regardless of whether you live in a big town or a small town, whether you have multiple NICUs or small NICU, always reach out to the nursing leadership in that NICU, whether it's email, telephone call, or go and visit them in person. See if you can shadow a nurse or a nurse practitioner in that unit. Um, that way they're going to see that you have an interest in um, becoming a part of their unit and taking care of their patient population, as well as, um, as the previous um, question, perhaps looking into getting your neonatal certification in an area, um, maybe getting your NRP, your neonatal resuscitation program card, going through that course, or doing the stable course, which is a course Okay, next question. Any advice for pediatric and OB rotations in nursing school? Here's my advice. I would take in every opportunity you have to observe or um, get your hands on, so to speak, a newborn, whether it's a term newborn or a preemie, um, or even if you you're not in a situation where you are the one actually performing hands-on care, Ask the nurses when it's an appropriate time, what's, what's going on with that patient? Why did you perform those cares? Why did you give those meds? You know, ask questions, be observant. Um, those are also going to be things when asked at an appropriate time that the nurses will pass on to your clinical instructors and perhaps they will be um, champions for you if you ever need a recommendation in the future. Uh, because Okay, follow up to my question that I asked is, does anyone know why we um, provide humidity for newborns, preterm newborns who are born less than 32 weeks in the NICU? And the answer is, is because preterm babies less than 32 weeks have very immature dermis. So they are at risk for lots of fluid shifts. So the main reason um, is for fluid and electrolyte balance. Um, those premature infants are at very risk for hypernatremia. Um, they're also at higher risk of um, poor skin integrity. Um, and in addition to that, it also providing humidity it helps with their temperature regulation. So we generally start at about 80% humidity. We place that in a little container um, that's 